Hey YouTube Lovelies and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be discussing what is the most recommended prestige brand for eyeshadow palettes who, for people who want to kind of branch into getting a new eyeshadow palette as far as the high end line is concerned. I am one of those people and so I went out and did all of the research for you guys and this is what I came up with. The most recommended brands out there that were recommended by not only the store clerks as well as YouTube bloggers, beauty bloggers of course, and as well as bloggers that aren't on YouTube and reviewers of said products online. I came up with, I think, five? I don't know this count. Six were the ones that were more talked about and more recommended when I was in the store talking to people as well as online one of watching and browsing through beauty bloggers as well as normal bloggers. So the top six brands were of course the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette which retails for $46 and the IT Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Palette, which retails for $42. Too Faced, I kind of lumped them both together. It's the Semi Sweet as well as just the normal chocolate bar palettes, and they both retail for $49. And the reason why I keep looking down is because I have them, my research written right here in this little notebook. Um, the Tarte Cos. Tarte Cosmetics. Ha ha ha! No. Just the Tarte palette, which is an all matte palette, and that one retails for $44. Those are going to be four eyeshadow palettes that are absolutely amazing. They are going to give you a very nice contrast, and not contrast, but they are going to give you very amazing looks, eye looks for your face and your eyeballs and they are good investments as far as eyeshadow palettes however those were not the top two brands that got most suggested as well as just all around recommendations and pigmentation and just overall oomphingness. The top two palettes for this list were, drumroll please, The Urban Decay number one naked palette, or is it Urban Decay naked one palette? Who cares? Urban Decay naked palette. Of course that was going to make it to the list. I swear, if this palette is not the most talked about palettes ever, I don't know what is. To be perfectly honest, Urban Decay, I hear their name every everywhere and especially the naked palace they are very well known let's just put it like that the urban decay naked palettes are well 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 known but the one that was most suggested for someone who's just branching into getting their first high-end eyeshadow palette was actually the naked one palette while the naked two palette was a very very close runner-up the Naked One palette was, across the board, a lot of people favored it more. So, the other brand that made it to the top two of this list was the Lorac Pro palette. And... Uh, well... To be perfectly honest, these two palettes, the Urban Decay, palette, Naked One, as well as the Lorac Pro palette, the first one, by the way. Um, they are both such amazing palettes. It was actually extremely difficult to choose between them, but the decision was made. The winner was the Lorac Pro palette. I'm sure you're just like, what? Why didn't Urban Decay win? Well, there were a few reasons why Urban Decay did not trump in this category. First reason being, 
Urban Decay is actually currently retailed at $54, as well the Lorac Pro Palette is currently retailing for $42. That is a $12 difference, and while that may not be a major amount of money in a, a, quite a lot of people's books, I know that I can do quite a lot with $12. So, that was one reason. The second reason is that the Urban Decay palette only comes with 12 shadows, while the Rock Pro palette comes with 16. That is 4 extra shadows bang for my buck right there. And not only did the Urban Decay palette cost more and have less shadows, when I went to go and swatch the Urban Decay palette, some of the colors did not always swatch well. Some of them I did have to go back again just so I could get a good reading on how the color would pay off on my own skin. While, on the other hand, with the Lorac Pro palette, when I went to swatch that puppy, that sucker was like, yes, I'm ready to party. Just, I barely had to touch it, and it just was amazing. And that was for all of the shadows, not just one or two or a majority. It was for all. And especially since the buff and the white there's one more light colored shadow that I cannot remember the name of right now. But those colors definitely paid off very well on my skin tone, and that was something that I was really looking for in an eyeshadow palette. So I was super, super excited to actually purchase the Lorac Pro palette. Yay! My first high end palette. I am uber, uber. Is that? Is that a good word? I'm uber excited! Because I know that you guys are super, super excited along with me or else you would not have watched it this long into the video, I'm going to do some swatches for you guys so you guys can see with your own eyes how they work. Here we go! And that was all the swatches for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it will help you choose your very own eyeshadow palette in the future. So if you guys are not already subscribed, please do that because the next video that I have planned for you guys is going to be a video actually using this palette on my eyes to create a look because sometimes, you know, you want to see how it wears on the face. So, if you are subscribed, you won't be able to know when that comes. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Until next time, stay lovely. Bye. And in... I swear most of this video was just me babbling like a crazy person. BABBLE!